New at 10, this is not your average Christmas time charity story. A one Huntsville man has resorted back to the 80s, growing out a full blown mullet in order to donate his hair to Locks of Love. It's a very worthy cause, but a journey of growth that ended tonight. WHNT News 19's David Wood has the details on this mullet of love. The mere sight of a mullet might bring you to tears, make you crack a smile, or it might even scare you, but don't be afraid. You know everyone loves a good mullet, and Corey Berry certainly loves his. This Troop 364 scout leader sported hockey hair back in the 80s and even won the same hair award at his high school reunion. You pop open my senior yearbook and it is a menagerie of mullets. But Barry didn't grow these locks out for the attention. I actually ended up printing out cards that I would hand out to people that I noticed staring at me, basically saying, hi, I'm doing this to donate my hair to Locks of Love. What would it take for guys to donate hair to Locks of Love? If only mullets came back in style. That's not happening, but Barry has used this not only as a way to help others, but to teach others. I've used this as a, a lesson for all of the scouts in the troop, trying to encourage them to find ways to be charitable in their everyday life. And while Corey says it hasn't been easy. My wife will not miss my hair. I will not miss my hair. He says it's all about the spirit of the season. It doesn't take a lot of effort just takes the willingness to take action. So with flags saluted and scouts honor posted after 22 long months, it was finally time for the moment of truth. Now watching a beautiful coiffure like this get chopped off would be painful for anyone. So we won't put you through that. Maybe you should just grow a mullet of your own. And here's what Corey Berry looks like without the mullet. His hair will now be processed and used for wigs. Barry doesn't recommend such a dramatic commitment, but does encourage everyone to find their own unique way to sacrifice and give this season.